Miami Hurricanes already this week have received a verbal commitment from one of the top tight ends in the country, and now they're getting crystal balls to land another. You are Locked on Canes, your daily podcast on the Miami Hurricanes, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Happy Friday. We made it. I'm Alex Dono, University of Miami alumnus, longtime South Florida sports radio vet and also host of Locked on ACC. And thank you so much to the everydayers for making Locked on Canes your first listen and your first watch today. We're available free wherever you get your podcasts. We're free on YouTube. We're part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. So earlier this week, Miami landed a verbal commitment from 12th ranked tight end in the class, four star Luca Gilbert, who's a giant at six foot seven, 233 pounds. And then late in the week, Miami lands a crystal ball prediction. No commitment, at least not yet, but a crystal ball prediction to land the 10th ranked tight end in the class. Also, a Midwestern kid, four star Brock Schott, six foot three, 215 pounds out of Leo, Indiana. And the common thread here is Miami is battling Ohio State for both of these guys. Gilbert is an Ohio kid. Uh, Shot is an Indiana kid, which is basically uh, the Ohio State folks will tell you that's like a suburb of Ohio. Uh, So Miami is doing well in the recruitment of both. And we have so much to talk about this and the spring game with our special guest on this episode. You know him, you love him, and hopefully you check out his content because he and Joe and Chalupa Batman and, and Polk Kane do such an awesome job. We got Ben from the You Heard pod with us. Ben, is Miami becoming tight end you again? 100%. Uh, earlier in my podcast last year, I was questioning the tight end room. Then you realize it was all hurt. You bring you Coach Dove brings in Elijah Lofton. Now you got the two top 10, top 15 tight ends getting ready to come into the U. It's fantastic to see it again. Love in the room. And next year's going to be even better. Yeah, and, and Joe, if, if or Ben, sorry. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe like, is not Joe here. Look, Joe, me and Joe look very similar. <laughs> ben, so if if Miami is able to get both Luca Gilbert, who they've gotten a commitment from, and Brock Schott, who they're trending with, uh, if they can bring both of these tight ends in the same class, I think it would be a perfect complement and a perfect dynamic because Gilbert, who we broke down earlier this week, uh, he certainly does have – Excellent hands as a receiver, being so big, he doesn't have that breakaway speed. So he would be a tremendous weapon, I believe, in in short yardage, intermediate, and in the red zone, especially with that six foot seven frame, uh, Mm -hmm. but not someone who's going to really stretch the field. Whereas Brock Schott, who Miami is now predicted to land, that's the guy who's got that speed. He's been described uh, in his scouting reports for the class of 2025. According to 24-7 Sports, Brock Schott runs better than any other tight end in this class. And if you watch his highlight reels in his film, he's getting downfield. He's catching deep balls. So Schott, I believe, would be the perfect complement to Luca Gilbert. You could bring them both in the same class, and they could both play different roles. I mean, in the case of Gilbert, there's even talk that he might end up kind of going the Eric Winston route and he could end up kind of bulking up and becoming an offensive tackle since he does have those long arms to catch Pat. I don't know if that's what I want for him, Joe, uh, Ben, but, uh, oh, I did it again. But but I think this would be the ultimate, the ultimate score if Miami can land both of these guys. But Ohio State's not going to quietly go away, Ben. They're going to keep recruiting these players. So uh, Miami's going to have some fights up until National Signing Day. I, I don't think there's a matchup that I have more confidence in with Mario than when they go up against Ohio State. Right? You look at you look at the last two, three years, we win those matchups. Just, right. I, I say it all the time. Justin Scott was committed for eight months and he called us. I, I don't worry about Ohio State. Ryan uh, Ryan crying dick and do his thing. I don't worry about it at all. Look with Brock Shot, love his athleticism, uh, seriously a threat. And you've got to think about it. if he commits and signs early, he'll be matching, he'll be learning and getting better and battling with Elijah Lofton, a freak of nature in, right. in that tight end room. So that that is only going to push that level higher and higher. And if they do choose to go with the Eric Winston route, I wouldn't know why, because our our tackles are so massive. Where would he even get in the room? So I'd, I'd like that possession action with uh, with Luca Gilbert. I think that's the place to keep him, because guys, Riley Williams will be graduating in a couple of years, Jackson Carver. 
at some point, Cam McCormick's time is up. So all these <laughs> all these things are possible. You got to keep growing that room. You got to keep building the room. Elijah Royal can leave next year, and Cam McCormick's out of the room. So that's two tight ends yeah. to cover right for them. So I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move Luca Gilbert to tackle yet. It's well said. And so, you know, it sounds like uh, in, ca- in the case of Shot, you know, he was on campus, he and his family last month for an unofficial visit during spring football. And that's when uh, Cody Woodall, Mario Cristobal, Dennis Smith and company were really able to make the family feel comfortable that, hey, if he's going to go far or far ish away from home, that, you know, Miami will treat him like family and the whole family can feel comfortable here. Because obviously, again, when you're a kid from Indiana and Ohio State comes calling or in Gilbert's case, you're in Ohio and Ohio State wants you there. There's always that temptation, as we know, to stay closer to home. So that's one thing that Miami is fighting there. So, yeah, hopefully Miami can get shot. And of course, Gilbert both over the finish line. And we got Ben from you heard with us. We got so much more to talk about on this episode of Locked on Canes. Ben is in town for the spring game, uh, and we're also—I'm going to be seeing a lot of this dude for the next couple of days because we're yeah. we're going to be on the Life Wallet Sports uh, Spaces together later today. We'll be in the same room for that, which you know he's going to get tired of me really, really quickly. Uh, we're both going to be at Canesway tomorrow for a meet and greet Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. We'll be at the spring game tomorrow afternoon on campus. So we got a lot coming up. We're going to talk spring game when we come back. So, folks, what you want to do is you want to keep it locked right here on this brand new episode of Locked on Canes. And I know you're keeping it locked to to eBay Motors. Guys, they have parts, more parts than you can imagine. Folks, passion, drive, and patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time and your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available to U.S. customers. And folks, we are also proudly brought to you on this episode of Locked on Canes by Game Time. Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. And the deals get better the closer you get to the event as a procrastinator, I feel so validated and rewarded by this. Game time is now an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets even faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to the first pitch with killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and the lowest price guarantee. Game time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets. And guys, I've been using Game Time exclusively because I haven't needed to use any other ticket services. It's so awesome. I've gotten tickets to Marlins games, Panthers games, Heat games at prices you wouldn't believe. We've got musical theater tickets, comedy show tickets. Guys, I'm telling you, download the Game Time app and check it out. The all-in pricing is fantastic because it shows you the total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. You get panoramic, panoramic, easy for me to say, views from your seat in the app before you buy so take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On College for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Locked On College for twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Thank you so much for making this Friday episode of Locked on Canes your first listen and your first watch today. We got Ben from You Heard with us. Ben, oh, I love but the t- the merch is awesome. So, you know, Ben, it's been a five-week slow burn of spring football building up to this spring game tomorrow, 4 p.m. at Cobb Stadium on campus at Miami. Who are you looking forward to watching most tomorrow? Cam Ward. Full stop. All right, just it's we've we've seen the highlights. We've seen the deep balls just to see, and especially after yesterday, it was down. It was very hard for me not to fully mix the Kool Aid yesterday, and just start taking a couple sips, because Cam Ward's just his his like his aura and person personality, his his response to Susan M- M- Miller Degden was like somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to talk trash. I love it. If you ever heard our show, you know I'm a chronic uh, trash talker. I love it. It's 
It gets the defense going, and I just loved his answer. It's Cam Ward. It's Cameron Bobby Pruitt. All the Cams. Yeah. No, no. I want to just, just <laughs> all, all, all the Cams the, and all the Elijahs. Exactly, and they're spelled <laughs> different. It's fantastic. You, when you say Cameron, you got to say Cameron Bobby Pruitt. You got to say the full name. Kid's been impressive. His highlights from the high school were phenomenal. Only getting better. I mean, there's so many guys you just want to see, and obviously the biggest thing is zero injuries. I want everybody to walk off that field safe and in a hundred percent. And whoever bounces for next week, wish them all the best. But and everybody stays healthy, man. That's the biggest thing for me. What are your expectations for the running back group? Because you know we we, we mentioned Elijah Lofton in the tight end room. He's going to be get, they getting a lot of work at running back in recent weeks, which shows his versatility. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I was watching Chris Johnson in practice this week look pretty good. Chris Wheatley Humphrey had some moments. Then Trevante Citizen is the X factor because he's still you know kind of working his way back both physically and mentally from what he went through. Uh, your expectations for the running back room on Saturday, and are, are you with me in thinking? And, and obviously, Mark Fletcher is is he's a dog, but he's he's injured right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, AJ Allen, same thing. Do you think Miami should go out and try to get a guy like Damian Martinez if they can get him? One hundred percent. You have to get somebody like a Damian Martinez. They're already p- familiar with Cam Ward. Played in the same conference. They've seen each other multiple times. Have that. I think you mentioned they follow. He followed him already on social media. That's something. You know, that's there's maybe some DMs going back and forth. They can talk. That's all. That's all good and well. They have to get somebody experience. You're not quite sure when Mac, when Fletcher's going to be coming back. Elijah Lofton, if you move him full time to running back because he's roughly around that size where he's you know maybe drops a couple pounds, isn't a bad call for a couple games and then get him with some experience. But yeah, you have to get at least one running back, at least one, a heavier guy. We got we got we got the yeah. we got the Lamborghinis in there already. We got Chris Whitney Humphrey and CJ, so we just need nice. a bigger body. You got the you got the Lamborghinis. You need the Hummers, is what you exactly <laughs> exactly is what you're looking for now. Uh, what, what about what about on the defense? You know, Miami Miami is losing Nigel e. Kelly into the transfer portal. He he wouldn't be healthy right now anyway, so it's not like we would have seen him play tomorrow. But you think about uh, the defensive line. I think linebacker is going to be a strength of this team. Defensive line definitely could be because they have some guys there, including Ruben Bain, who was all world last year. I think I think with the defensive line, I'm looking forward to that jack position, which is where like that National League Kelly would have played. That kind of stand up rush end. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what Coleman Conesy does over there. Uh, if they're uh, out, Malik Bryant since they moved him down, who I thought should have always been a, an edge, an edge rusher just because of his size. I just see, you know, who he screams to me, Donald Allen Bailey, like that kind of freaking yeah. nature body side. Like that's kind of what he's always looked like. I was like, when I saw him, I was like, I saw 57. I don't know why I just had that like vision. I was like, "That's that's ba- that's Alan Bailey right there." So those those kind of guys on the other end, you know what you're getting from Ruben Bain. He was all world last year with almost no help on that D line, right? Like that whole the whole all the starters were hurt, of, aside from a, a defensive tackle. So if you just get that depth next to him, it's oh, just to have a rush end on the other side that he never had last year. You had to pay Harrison Hunt at some point at rush end. Harrison Hunt is not a rush end. So yeah, you have you have to. Cole McConaughey to me is yeah. It's what like Anthony Chigolo should have been if they didn't ask him to gain a hundred pounds in three months. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of where I see him. Al Golden basically locked him inside a golden corral, and he's like, "Just yeah, don't just, don't come out until you're three hundred pounds." Exactly for no reason because just didn't recognize him. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's really good. And, and Mario, Mario released uh, just a couple of details on on what to expect from the spring game tomorrow. The first half is going to be live, which means like you know regular. To, the, the, hopefully, nobody nobody goes too crazy, but you know regular mm-hmm. tackling in the first half. Second half is going to be thudding only, you know, just to be cautious and preserve some bodies. So, uh, if you want to see the full physicality, make sure you are tuned into the first half tomorrow. He's Ben from the You Heard Pod. Uh, we're going to be seeing and talking a lot with each other the next couple of days. As I mentioned, mm-hmm. we're going to be on at noon today. We're going to be on uh, together as guests of Geo Million on uh, the Life Wallet Sports Spaces and Podcast. Tomorrow, uh, Ben is like, is, I'm, I'm terrible at organizing stuff. So I'm glad that you heard you guys are good with this stuff. A little meet and greet tomorrow, 10 a.m. to noon at Canesware in Broward. And then we'll all be at the spring game tomorrow afternoon. Ben, thank you so much. And let people know where they can find you heard and when they can find the next episode. 
Absolutely. We'll be back next Wednesday. All our guys are traveling down for the spring game, so we're taking the week off. It'd be wrong to me to ask them, hey, guys, Sunday we're doing a show. Everybody's driving yeah. back home. So we'll be back next Wednesday. We're on every Wednesday and Sunday live on YouTube. The episode comes on on audio, audio platforms right after the show, so you can listen to it at work and not get in trouble. Uh, my guy, Poe Kane, make sure to follow him at Joe Skilliams. That's that's one of my co-hosts. And, of course, the legendary Chalupa Batman. Look, I work we with a great you. team, man. I'm, I tell them all the time. I'm thankful every day they trust me with their voice and we're able to do this thing together. We absolutely love what we do. And we we kind of do the more explicit version at times because, we, you know, we're passionate fans. So make sure you don't listen with your kids in the car with the with the auxiliary <laughs> record on. Just just a heads up and a warning on that one. If I want yeah, my six-year-old to learn some new words, we'll tune in. I, absolutely. I just want to thank you again for the opportunity, man. And thank you for coming out for in, Into the Canes verse as we call it tomorrow. Um, you know, myself, Miami Flow, Jazz, Cavacito, and Canes, you name a content creator, they will be in the building. We're trying to grow this thing and make it a family, not not something oppositional, I guess is the way it's it's kind of seemed lately. So we just try to have a good time, man, and hope you guys enjoy. Come on out, and we have a great time. I mean, it's Canes where we're going to be there anyway, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. It's especially on, on spring game day. I gotta, I gotta go get some swag. I need, uh, I even need some random stuff. Like I want a new, uh, Miami hurricanes mouse pad. So I'm going to pick one of those up tomorrow as well. All, and they do have a sale stuff. and they do have a sale tomorrow. all weekend long, 14% off, off everything in the store. Cause it's their 14 awesome. year anniversary at Canes work. Yep. Oh, that's, that's great. So thank everyone so much for making locked on Canes. Your first listen to your first watch today. We are going to be back in the afternoon today. We're going to be interviewing, courtesy of Kane's Connection, we are going to be interviewing a Miami Hurricanes player or two in the late afternoon today. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. We will talk to you guys next time on another episode of Locked on Canes, part of the awesome Locked on Podcast Network. Your team, every day.